Hey guys, Spartan here from SpartanTraining.com. I want to hit you guys with another educational video. And in this video, I just want to break down the actual thinking before you get into a trade. Now, the thinking before you get into a trade is you need some sort of trade plan. And in general, you want to have five main things covered. So trade a creating plan. You want to have basically understand the main conditions of the market, what's actually going on, and understand what you're looking at and how it relates to the market. Two, you need some sort of entry trigger, which is going to be what your actual setup is. Number three, your stop loss, which is where you're actually be placing your stop, the targets on that trade and risk. Now, in general, you want a three to one risk word ratio, in my opinion. Um, if you're getting into a normal trade, if you're getting into a scalp, of course, you could have a little bit lower um, risk to reward. It could be a one to one or a two to one if you have a very high probability of it working. But in general, on a normal trade, you probably want to have three to one. So in this case, let's take a look at the main conditions here. Let's kind of just walk through the process. So let's say I wanted to go long this stock, and this is ILMN right here. I want to go long ILMN, and I want to make sure I'm taking it on my setup, which is going to be a range break to the upside. So this 148.72. If that level breaks, we got room essentially to around 163.15 on the upside. Now, if I'm going to be using my EMAs as a stop loss area, which you know you definitely can, and that's what I typically will do, I'm going to be risking all the way, let's say, to 139.16. So I'm risking 130. I'm risking to 139.16 to make my 162.24 on the upside, and let's say we're taking the breakout at, you know, 148, for instance. This stop will actually probably come up around more so to, let's call it around 141. go we'll leave it around there 141 uh, 86 essentially so in this case I have a uh, 14 points to the upside about six to the downside which you know let's call it a two and a half risk award which is I think decent uh, given this chart's got quite a bit more room if it does get past the first resistance all right at 170 162 I understand what's going on in the market if the market starts to bounce here it's holding the trend we get this breakout Setup makes sense. Risk reward makes sense. My target is there. Last thing I need to understand and ask myself is what's my actual risk per trade? Now, this is something that should be predefined. Most people will have a predefined number and that's going to dictate based off of how much capital you're putting in the trade, how much size you're taking and where that stop needs to go. If we're doing it, you know, kind of backwards, I want to risk, let's say in this instance, let's call it easy six points to the downside. And I want to risk $100, or so I want to risk $600 per trade. I could only take 100 shares of this. Taking 100 shares of this to make, you know, 1,400 bucks to the upside. You know, solid trade. You could also move the stops up, of course, once it does start working. So whenever you get into a trade, guys, you need to cover these five main components. This is the way that you should be thinking. What are the conditions of the market? What's my entry setup? In this case, range break to the upside. Where's my stop, which we know where it is. Where's my target, which we know where that is. And then what's my actual dollar risk per trade so I can make sure that the sizing makes sense. Now, this is something that I do cover extensively, guys, that I do help traders actually figure out for themselves in the chat room. You guys can come join us. Go to SpartanTrading.com. You can sign up there. If you guys follow me on Twitter, at Spartan Trading, hit me up. I'll give you a four free day trial or you can click the link in this bio. Thanks for watching, my friends. Talk to you later and I will see you in the room.